So, I'm someone who's really into healthy eating. So whenever I try to go grocery shopping, I tend to buy organic food. But when I actually, okay, sorry. When I actually went into the store, I usually see really li limited amount and selection I could choose from organic food. And then there's a huge pile of non-organic food just lying over there. And I didn't want to choose them because I want them to keep harming my health. So I thought, why not try to it on my own? But as an MBA full-time student, I don't really have the time and effort to actually grow the vegetables myself. And as you know, the winter in New England doesn't really help them grow either. So I'm somehow forced to go back and then buy those non-organic food. Um, this is just a bad cycle going on and on. Um, and then now I notice it's not just me who has the same concern on food and the same problem. We see there are more and more households doing gardening activities because they want to ensure food safety for their families. We also see organic food sales growing at 10% for the past five years because people are buying more and more organic food. So, <clears throat> we also notice there are competitors outside who are trying to solve the same problem. Some of them provide a more expensive model with more advanced technology. However, it's a bit too expensive for someone like me to have to buy and use it. Yep. On the other hand, there are cheaper models they're more approachable, but I still have to put time and effort, effort into trying to make sh making sure they're actually growing. So our solution is an indoor hydroponic gardening system. It uses hydroponic, which is a growing process that utilizes water and nutrients effectively and not relying on so soil. And what's good about the product is I can have a constant supply of fresh organic food and I don't really have to type take the time to take care of it. And these are the four main features that will be on our product. And so our product should resemble a bookshelf you may already have inside your house. It will be no taller than I am and can hold up to eight different plants. Or if you're like me, you'll probably have eight strawberry plants because I'm a strawberry freak. I'll do a second. Um, but we are looking to have a very unique nutrient system so that we are providing exactly what every plant needs in order to grow as fast as possible because no two plants require the same combination of nutrients as another. Yeah. So we're in the future we're looking to make five prototypes of these yeah. in order to expedite testing and make sure our customers get this within the next six months. One of our customers who has been actively asking for this is the owner of an organic food chain and is looking to put this in her restaurant and use it which is exact, which is a great opportunity for us because our target audience, organic, um, conscious people, will be in this restaurant and they will see our products and be able to recognize that they can also benefit from its use. So we can raise the awareness since we have something out there that's actually displaying it. While we're doing that, we will be testing out our um, our pricing models because now we're offering it at a lower margin for the price, but, but we're also thinking about um, earning providing. revenue from additional maintenance services yeah. we'll be providing monthly. So in order to get this business venture started, we're going to need $10,000 to begin. 7000 of that will be spent doing prototypes and 2000 of that will be used for renting equipment for the mechanical engineers in order to build our design, which we already have ready to go and we just need the equipment. Additionally, we need the remaining 1000 for a website and to buy marketing reports, which are unfortunately really expensive. <laughs> so um, we'd really like to see this product brought to market and we'd really like to benefit the lives of as many people as possible. Because having a healthier lifestyle is really as priceless. And so we thank you for listening to us, and at this time, we would invite any questions you may have of us. Thank you. And thank you very much. Okay, you went cute as team so far, okay? <laughs> Great job. Um, your, your breakout of revenue or expected revenue, are you, are you anticipating the revenue to come primarily from the, the physical planting system, or are you looking at uh, more of the nutrient sale on the back end? So we are um, going to be providing additional links for other nutrients. We will be providing the unit itself, not so much selling the nutrients. We would like to in the future, but we 
haven't expanded into that option yet. Because we currently want to start building prototypes. So as long as we have it tested, we know it runs, then we can start breaking down which part we could maybe source it to a supplier who can have a lower <clears throat> at a lower cost. So then we can bring down maybe the price to spread it to more customers. And we're also thinking about financing suppliers for nutrients. And um, we also have the monthly maintenance service we'll provide because while we were doing market research, the athlete asked, would this be a bit too advanced a technology that someone like me who's not really good at it can use? You're worried if it's user friendly. So we said we'll provide the service and make sure it's working every month. And when you do have problems, you're free to contact us. What are your sales features? You mentioned a, a unique nutrient system. You know, going after the one-time purchase as opposed to recurring revenue is something you might want to think about. I mean, especially if you're able to lock in, you know, specific nutrient systems that are going to be targeted to whether it's strawberries or lettuce or whatever. So, it's just something to think about. Yeah. Thank you. So, if I had a restaurant and I want to buy your product, yeah. and I saw those shelves, they're pretty neat looking. I mean, how many of those do I need? And, and is, it, is it a continual growth, like if I fruit off of it? And, and yep. You should be able to continuously grow and harvest. And in fact, each of these are encased in glass so that they are protected from external elements. Okay. But you should be able to open, harvest your salad as... Um, I can start it right away. Exactly. Right away. Okay. But the exact time of how often you'd be needing to use it, um, you would need a few of these in order to supply a full restaurant because what kind of restaurant would we be talking about? Um, I don't know, I would say maybe 60 people six um, a, a night. I mean, or maybe it seats 60 people, or okay. is this for a small? Well, you might need several units if you're going to go pure organic. Yeah. But the great thing about us is that we're actually much faster than growing. So here's like a chart. So if hydroponics are with, in comparison to like days to harvest, so like let's say asparagus, which takes roughly three years to grow, now we can bring it down to like one year and a bunch of other plants like kale. So you can actually grow much faster, and like what you, how many units you need is going to be kind of dependent on what kind of plants you're going to be growing. And how many customers. Okay. And maybe depending on your menu, what yeah. vegetables you use the most, then you'll probably want to grow more of those. Nice. All right, I'm in. I would bet. Okay. All right. I'd invest. Right. You know. Really, these things are all about is, okay, can you get somebody to reach into their wallet, okay, and go like, okay, well, I give you a piece of this. Now, I might, you know, have a debate with you how much I want for my money, but, okay, but this is it, right? So here's my, com my comments. I thought it was, I, I, I thought, it thought it was great. I think you need lot less front end because so much has been said already about organic, it's good for you, okay, you want to go ahead and do it. I, I don't think you, you, you spent, you know, a third of the time yeah. there. I don't, that, that sale kind of sells itself. Okay, so I would just do a little bit. I, I kind of dumb it down. Just just do a, 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 a little bit, a little bit there. I think your approach with the hydroponics is, it's it is unique. It's not unique, but it is unique. Okay, but your your approach where you have boxes, which you're going to go ahead and you're going to program in with some sort of master controller, you know, the, the specific nutrients and the amount of light that it that it needs to cycle it through to optimize that. That is I that is I believe you know. It is. That's your that's your card trick, okay? And so to be able to do that in a section of four, six, eight, okay, you know, twelve, twenty-four, I, I think that that is the unique trick that you go that, that you go ahead, go ahead and, and, and have. And so I'd be I'd be talking a little bit more about that. I think that this is a good chart that you can go ahead and that you can go go ahead and, and, and play play through that. I thought you did a good job on the voice voice of the customer. You talked about customers already. Um, I think your 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 customers are are sure it's it's restaurants, but your my wife would buy this. Okay, my wife would yeah, buy this. Oh, we are. Uh, it people, just happened but, that she's a restaurant owner and she's willing to let us do it. But you didn't say. It. Okay, so I would be thinking about getting voice of customer of people that were we out there. We need to talk to some customers, potential yeah. customers. We always have kind of. Yeah, and really think your way through that. You know, how many people do that? How many people garden in the United States? Okay. Um, you know, I garden, my wife gardens, okay, like that. We can't garden in the winter. This is a way to take it inside. You know, if, if you make these Currently, things where they look like 42 million households in the Okay, but you didn't tell me that. Okay. okay. So, 
Don't, so look, I, I yep. get it, you know it, okay? <laughs> with your but, product, I'm, but I'm correct. Um, with your product, there's 42 households that, that have it? Uh, no, it's no. Industry. no. Oh, industry. Just, okay. This is just gardening. So I was going to say, how would you market it? Right, for, for, right now, to say, say you want to go to New England, stop New England, but how would you market it? You can grow plants continuously. You'll never have to worry about winter weathers or um, destroying your crops or it, like plants, the heat. It's all there. If you want to take a vacation, you can actually hibernate the plant growth. The plants will be there continuously when you need them. So you don't have to worry about, so it's summer, it's the harvest season, or it's not. Or it's winter and we're under 11 feet of snow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so sorry, just to finish up. So, so you know, your voice of the customer, just to expand a little bit about that, I would do, I would do home sales as well, well as well as the the other sales. Have you protected your IP? Have you done anything to work? We are do currently in the process of going to get a patent. Good. Okay. So I think that you need to talk to that. Talk to a patent patent attorney. As soon as you talk to him, you can write it down. You define enough of that. You've, yep. You've done a, made a good you could. Uh, you you good, made a good step in there. You had a good story about the ten grand about where you wanted to, to 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 do that. I think marketing reports, by the way, are cheap. You just got to know how to look. Somebody said we're thinking about conditional research, uh, which is like takes more uh, taking more that's, time. That's that's another that's another thing. But getting marketing reports is relatively cheap. You just need to go ahead. And, Go ahead, um, how to do that. We did look at one, and it actually says, like, now it's probably a good time to get into hydroponics because right now we're in a growing stage, so there are, it's not saturated at all. Right now, it's anyone can get in. We're not at the point where it's differentiation is going to be sticking people out, so actually, it's right now a great time to get into hydroponics if you yeah. want to. Your box with the different levels in it, and I can dial it in for carrots, spinach, you know, what are, what are the top 10 vegetables that people do it? Mm -hmm. Have that ready made. Yeah, I would also nice. look at, you know, what are the trends right now in urban gardening? Sorry. I mean, it's a big market, so yeah. pull some of that specific Herbs, marketing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, I mean, we do it every week. We, right next to our grill, we're running herbs all the way, and guess what? I can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And I'd love to, love to do that. But great idea. Really, yeah. really good. Nice really fun. You guys did a really nice job. Okay? Thank so, you. We'll be sure to let you know how we proceed over the years, and that we, if by the end of the year, I am expecting <laughs> to make these. <laughs> we'll be sure to send you one. <laughs> I want you to send me one of those, or I want you to.